When Sloan was diagnosed with a rare and life-threatening liver condition that left her in desperate need of a transplant, her parents, overwhelmed with the news, embarked on a challenging journey to find a suitable donor. During this time, a hero stepped forward and did something amazing to save the life of this little girl that he had never met. What did he do? Welcome back to Storyscape. Before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to also hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Sarah St. James had a regular pregnancy and gave birth to Sloan in April 2016. Sloan seemed healthy, and she is the second child of Sarah and Chris St. James, who also has a two-and-a-half-year-old son named Carter. Residents of Bourne, Massachusetts, on Cape Cod, Sarah works as an occupational therapist while Chris works in the IT department for Keolis Commuter Services. However, when Sloan turned two months old, her parents noticed some changes. She started to look jaundiced, and she developed a round belly. While Sloan was eating well and meeting her growth milestones, her parents began to worry. According to Sarah, she and Chris were like, something is just not right. Instead of visiting their local pediatrician, Sloan's parents took her to Boston Children's Hospital for her regular four-month checkup on August 8. They hoped the doctors there would say she was okay. However, when the doctors saw Sloan, they got worried. They found out that Sloan had a liver problem called biliary atresia. This means that some of her bile ducts were too small, blocked, or missing. It is a disease that is caught early in babies and treatable without surgery but Sloan's condition was worse and fast approaching stage four. She would need a liver transplant. Sloan's parents thought they were just checking to make sure she was fine, but instead, it was very bad news. They never thought it could be this serious, but it was, and it was the worst thing we feared. Sloan was placed on a cadaver donor waiting list, but her illness continued to get worse. In late August, Sloan briefly went home for six days, but her condition worsened, and she had to return to Children's Hospital. As Labor Day weekend neared, it became clear that she needed a liver from a living donor to survive. This choice was only made in about 10% of cases. Sloan's family understood that they wouldn't be able to go home again after those six days because her health was declining rapidly. The protocols for living donors are strict, the donor needs to be either a family member or an acquaintance and the donor must want to do it without being forced. The donor is checked psychologically in addition to being a physical match. There are a lot of risks involved, a lot of ethical things that go into it, St. James said. Tenney got to know the St. James family through his brother, Jake Tenney, who lives in Bourne near the Cape Cod Canal and is close friends with the couple. While Steve Tenney and his wife Aubrey have met the St. James couple at a few outings, they did not know each other well. When Sloan's desperate situation and the requirement for a donor became known among family and friends and through a GoFundMe page, Tenney decided to help. Fortunately, unlike St. James' family members, Tenney had the same blood type as Sloan, which was a good start. Adult donors like Tenney needed to follow a process at the Lay Hospital in Burlington, Massachusetts. Tenney began by filling out an online survey, and the hospital called him back because they were interested in his answers. Tenney and his wife had a conversation about this because it would require him to take time off from his job as a lieutenant at the Keene Police Department. The thing is, he had a lot of saved up time off because he had never taken a sick day before. Plus, he had recently started working during the day in more of a desk job. Fortunately here, I was in a good position. My wife and I talked and it was really a no-brainer. If you can help a four-month-old and potentially save her life, it's something you're going to do, Tenney said. Tenney had his first test at Cheshire Medical Center. Then, he went to Burlington for more detailed checks. They could only test one donor at a time because the tests were extensive. Normally, it takes weeks. But because Sloan was very sick, they did it in just seven days. On September 1st, Tenney went to Lay. That whole week, he had lots of tests like a CT scan, MRI, and liver biopsy. They took lots of blood from him, which he estimates to be hundreds of vials of blood. Three dimensional images of his liver were also taken because part of the transplant surgery involved working with a lab in Germany. Penny's veins and vessels needed to match Sloan's for the transplant. The number of vessels and veins have to match. If I have too many, 
It's almost too much to be able to close them off, Tenney said. On September 8, the day of the surgeries, two teams of doctors gathered in Burlington and Boston. They had to coordinate their actions perfectly. Sloan received a new liver just as they removed her old one. Tenney has pictures of his healthy liver on his phone. Sloan's liver, on the other hand, was shriveled, black, and lifeless, according to St. James. Fortunately, both surgeries went well. As Sloan grows, her new liver will also grow, and the missing part of Tenney's liver will regenerate. Almost two months after the surgery, while Sloan remained on different medications to fight off organ rejection and infection, she was back to drinking breast milk. She often visited Children's Hospital to have her medications readjusted, which is normal. The doctors told her family that there might be a few problems along the way. Sloan never stopped smiling. The doctors say she'll be able to do anything that a normal little girl would do. But it's been a hard adjustment for our family, St. James said. Tenny, on the other hand, stayed in the hospital for five days and then spent some time in a hotel nearby. It took him a while to get back his strength. He later went back to work full time and has been to the Cape to visit Sloan. He reached out right when this all started. That just speaks to his character. It reminds us that there are great people in the world, St. James said of Tenny. According to Tenny, he wouldn't change a thing. Having been through it, it's something I would tell people to do if they're in that position. I have no regrets. For what you give, it's a very rewarding process in what you get back. Lieutenant Tenney's decision to donate part of his liver to a young child he had never met before is a remarkable act of kindness and generosity. It shows us that even in the most challenging circumstances, we can still find ways to help others and make a positive impact on the world around us. Sloan's story is also a testament to the power of community and the importance of coming together to support those in need. When we work together and support one another, we can achieve great things and overcome even the most difficult challenges. Lieutenant Tenney's selflessness is an inspiration to us all, and it reminds us that we can all make a difference in the lives of others. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you're yet to do so. Also, hit that notification bell because we have more amazing videos on the way. We'll see you in our next video.